Hey guys, it's Morgan, and today I am doing a tag, and I don't know what it's called because I screenshotted the questions and I cannot find the video that I took them from. So I don't remember what the tag is called, but it's got 19 questions. Um, and I wasn't tagged to do this, I just thought it'd be fun. So the first question is, what book has, un has been on your shelf the longest? Ooh, this is hard. Um, I'm gonna have to say the Percy Jackson series. Uh, I'm gonna have to say the Percy Jackson series, the one on the bottom, not the top one, or the City of Ember series. Because I've definitely had those a long time, like since I was a kid. With the City of Ember series, I read it, two of my brothers read it, and my grandma read it. So it was like a whole family thing that we did years ago. So I don't know. I think I might have had the Percy Jackson series the longest, but I cannot tell for sure which one. Question two. What is your current read? Um, I'm currently reading a graphic novel. Um, Stormbreaker is the first... Um, Alex Rider book. I'm also reading Arch Archangel, which is the sixth Alex Rider novel, and I'm reading a book called The End Games. Um, I can't remember. Uh, T. Michael Martin, the Alex Rider series by Anthony Moritz, and then I'm also reading The Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard, so there's four of them. Um, continuing question two, your last read was... Um, Scorpia? The fifth Alex Rider book. And then my next read. Um, well, I guess technically Glass Sword because I haven't actually started it yet, but it's on my currently reading shelf. <laughs> okay, question three. What book did everyone like but you hated? Um, the City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I read it because my aunt really liked the series. The movie was coming out and she said I had to read it before we saw the movie. And I read half of it before I saw the movie, and then I finished it, and then I started the second book, skipped to the end, um, and read the ending, and then stopped, because I did not like them very much at all, and I know they're really popular. I do have her like the TV show, but I just didn't like the books. Um, question four. What book do you keep telling yourself you'll read, but you probably won't? I'm gonna have to go with... Everton. Um, I got the first and second book at a library sale, and then, that was a long time ago, and then I was recently told by somebody that if I didn't like the movies, which I didn't really like them very much, then I shouldn't even try to read the books, because I won't like them. So, I keep saying, I'm gonna read it, and I kept it, but I probably won't. Um, question five, what book are you saving for retirement? Okay, so I don't know exactly what this question means, like, I'm gonna not read it till I'm really old, or I'm gonna have it forever, um, because I do plan on reading all the books on my shelf, with the exception of a couple that I should probably just get rid of. Um, I guess a book that I will always have is The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton. It is one of my absolute favorite books. I actually just recently got the 50th anniversary edition, which is way better than my copy, because it was one of those copies that the school buys like 5,000 copies of just to have at the school and it's like dumb question six last page read it first or wait till the end usually I won't skip ahead but sometimes if I'm reading a book and I'm kind of bored or it's really slow I will skip to the end of the chapter and read the last sentence I don't usually skip to the end unless I'm really close to the end and I'm like eh, this is really boring I don't know if I want to finish it and so I like We'll skip to the end, but I don't usually skip to the end. Question seven, acknowledgement. Waste of paper and ink or interesting aside? Well, um, I think if you write a book and you want to thank people or let people know some things about it, then that's totally your thing. And I don't think it's a waste of paper. I don't really read them, but it's not really something I would say you shouldn't do that. Question eight, which book character would you switch places with? Um, this is really hard. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Um. I don't 
No. <laughs> uh, maybe Eliza from Eliza and Her Monsters. That's one of my favorite books too. I really like that book. Um, and not because she's like super famous or anything, but maybe because she's really easy to relate to for me, so it's not much of a, a change, I guess. Question nine. Do you have a book that reminds you of something specific in your life? Place, time, person. Um, well, um, the, the Outsiders, one of my favorite books. I read it in sixth grade and I actually got in trouble for reading ahead, which I don't understand why I would have gotten in trouble just because it's really stupid. Um, but I was really bad at reading ahead with that book and I also remember uh, after reading class I immediately went to um, art class and our teacher was drinking a soda and at the time <laughs> I called it a soda pop and this other kid's like who the heck calls it a soda pop what's wrong with you <laughs> I was like I'm sorry it's from a book I'm reading and so that one is very vivid for me um, and maybe the City of Ember series reminds me of my brothers and my grandma. We kind of all read the whole series at the same time, with the exception of one of my brothers. So two of my brothers and my grandma were kind of all reading through the series at the same time, and we were like swapping books, and my grandma was buying the books for us, and so that was really cool. Um, question 10. Name a book that you acquired in an interesting way. Uh, I don't know. I guess uh, I have um, a book up here, it's called Journey to the Fringe, it's the first book in the Stone Age Wars. I haven't read it yet, and my aunt got it for me. Um, she, when she was a senior in high school, went on an art trip to Portland, Oregon, and went to Powell's bookstore and bought it for me, and she's 24. <laughs> so that was like seven years ago, six years ago. Uh, question 11. Have you ever given a book away for a special reason to a special person? I didn't really think so. Um, I did- I had the- the first Percy Jackson book was the movie cover, the first one I had, and my brother had the original paperback cover, and I bugged him for a really long time to trade with me, and he finally did. Um, and then I did give, uh, at the time, my favorite book to my dad to read because it was really, really good and I thought he would like it. And, uh, funny story, he never read it. <laughs> that was like <laughs> five or six years ago. It's not my favorite book anymore, but it's still a really good book. Um, question 12. Which book has been with you most places? Um... I don't really know. I bring my books with me a lot of places. I guess I could say, um, the Patrick Ness book up there, The Knife of Never Letting Go, and the other two, The Asking the Answer, and Monsters of Men. I loaned to my aunt who lives in Rexburg, and she came here and got the first one and took it back with her and read it and then I visited her and brought her the second and third and brought the first one back home with me. Second and third one are still there with her. Um, but I guess it's the farthest I've ever really taken my books. Oh, I did take a book, um, Aragon to China. It, uh, I read half of it on that trip. We were gone for 11 days. I read it on the plane and on the bus rides. Um... I didn't take any books with me on my cruise, I just took my Kindle books. And I guess I just, uh, when I was at school I'd bring a book with me to school every day, and when I go to work, when I go to work I bring a book with me, so I bring books lots of places. Question 13. Any required reading you hated in high school that wasn't so bad two years later? So the problem with this is I only went to high school for one year because I was homeschooled, and the reading, I already loved reading at that time. I started loving reading. Um, I still have the book that I used to hate reading and I read a book called Ruthie's Gift in fourth grade and it changed my life. I absolutely love reading because of it. Um, so I started liking reading in fourth grade. So I already liked reading in high school and the books I read were um, Ender's Game, The Hobbit, um, The Wild Magic series, which I'd already read before. 
so they were all good books like I like science fiction and fantasy and then sci-fi fantasy we read those books well I read the wild magic series but the class read Ender's Game and the Hobbit so yeah I didn't have any bad required reading books um question 14 used or brand new Personally, I prefer brand new, but my wallet prefers used <laughs> just because they're cheaper. <laughs> but if I can buy them used and they're like new, then that's fine too. 15. Have you ever read a Dan Brown book? Nope, I don't even know who Dan Brown is. Maybe I'll have to look this person up. 16. Have you ever seen a movie that you liked more than the book? Yes, I have. Um... The Giver by Lois Lowry. I watched the movie and it was one of my favorite movies for a long time and then I read the book and I didn't like the book as much as the movie um, for the reason that when you're watching the movie and the color starts to come back it's really visually striking whereas in the book it's just kind of saying he's starting to see color and it's not as pretty I guess. I don't know that's the reason I like the movie better is because it's more I feel like it's better visual visually than when you're reading it um 17 have you ever read a book that's made you hungry cookbooks included uh no I don't believe I have I will get hungry while reading, but usually not because of the book, it's usually because I need to eat something. <laughs> like, it's breakfast time. But I don't think a book has ever made me hungry. Um, 18. Who is a person whose book advice you always take? Hmm. Always is a very strong word because I've gotten book advice from a lot of people and usually it's good and sometimes it's not. Um, like, for example, my aunt made me read the Harry Potter series, the Twilight series, I started the Mortal Instruments series. I read the Harry Potter series and I read the Twilight series and never finished the Mortal Instruments series. So, mostly good, a little bit of bad. Um, my best friend, she she likes a lot of the books I like, but I'm more of a science fiction and fantasy and supernatural. And she really likes magic, like a lot of magic. Which, I do read magic books too, like um, the Wild Magic series is about magic and the Harry Potter series is about magic. But hers is like, she almost exclusively reads books about witches and wizards and stuff. And I don't like to read those kind of books all the time. And then I guess another person I got book advice from was um, my boss, who likes to read. And she has a lot of books on her shelf that I am interested in reading or have read. But there's also some books on her shelf that I don't really want to read. Like, I know she has some Sarah J. Mass books, and I'm not really sure I would ever read any of those. So, I don't think there is a person that I would take their advice always but I do look into the advice and try it out. And sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. So I guess no one. And then question 19, is there a book out of your comfort zone that you ended up loving? Yes, Eliza and Her Monsters. I do not read contemporary. That book for some reason was very intriguing to me and I heard so much about it and I wanted to read it so bad and I ended up borrowing it from the library and absolutely loving it. It's one of my favorite books ever. And actually there's another book on my shelf right now. A semi-definitive list of worst nightmares by Crystal Sutherland is I believe it's contemporary. It I don't know, even if it's not, it's not really a genre I usually read. It's not like the other books I read. But for some reason it just is intriguing to me. So I'm gonna try it out. Hopefully I like it. And that is all for my lots of questions book tag, is what I'm going to call it, I guess. Um, if you want to do this, I tag you. And yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!